Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. When picturing a boat, the vast majority of people will imagine what's known as a monohull vessel. However, this is far from the only way to build a ship. In fact, many engineers argue that multi-hull designs are actually a more intelligent and versatile choice. These types of vessels are known as catamarans. They feature two parallel hulls of equal size, spaced apart by a deck or platform. There are also trimarans, which feature three sections of the hull. Among the most recognizable multi-hulled military boats are U.S. Navy's Independence-class littoral combat ships. However, the United States has invested significantly in multi-hull technology in recent years. The HSV-2 Swift, with HSV standing for High Speed Vessel, is a type of military catamaran designed to transport personnel and equipment rapidly. It was initially developed in 2002 for the United States Navy by Australian shipbuilder INCAT in collaboration with the U.S. Navy's Military Sealift Command. The primary purpose of the HSV-2 Swift was to serve as a high-speed transport vessel. According to the INCAT engineers behind the ship, the 321-foot-long vessel could quickly deploy troops, supplies, and equipment to various locations worldwide. The Swift was designed as a catamaran, a hull type that INCAT continues to specialize in to this day. Catamaran technology may be thousands of years old, but it continues to advance to this day. One of the newest additions to commercial, private, and military catamarans is hydrofoil technology. Put simply, a hydrofoil does what wings do for an airplane, only in the water. They generally come in the form of specialized underwater wings or fins that can generate lift as the vessel to which they're attached moves through the water. This actually raises the hull of the boat out of the water to varying degrees, drastically reducing drag and allowing for higher speeds better fuel efficiency, and a much smoother ride. In fact, due to the reduced contact between the hull and the water, hydrofoil boats can perform exceptionally well in rough water that might otherwise slow down a traditional vessel.
In Cat, the Australian shipbuilding company behind the HSV-2 has been working on perfecting the large-scale catamaran design since 1977. What sets Incat's vessels apart from other catamaran-style ships is their focus on aluminum construction and the use of both wave piercing and water jet technology. As with the HSV-2, Incat still builds military vessels for various applications. It also produces passenger and vehicle ferries, oil rig tenders, and luxury super yachts of all sizes and types. Its 069 hull is currently recognized as the fastest in the world. offering a top speed of 67 miles per hour. The hull has since evolved into the HSC Francisco, which has ferried passengers between Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Montevideo, Uruguay since 2013. INCAT is based in Derwent Park near Hobart, Tasmania, home to the second deepest natural port in the world. This shipyard is equipped with various advanced infrastructure and technology to support the construction of innovative, high-performance vessels. INCAT prides itself on doing the entire process in-house whenever possible, which begins with the company's on-site design and engineering facility. The company has about 600 full-time employees, but also employs hundreds of subcontractors, making it one of Tasmania's largest companies. Catamaran ships are renowned for their stability. As such, they are an ideal hull design for ships that need to operate as floating platforms or transport docks. The largest recognized catamaran design in history is the All Seas Pioneering Spirit. a massive offshore construction vessel used for heavy lifting and installation operations in the offshore oil and gas industry. The ship weighs an incredible 365,000 tons and can hold up to 600,000 more, depending on its location. One of the largest ships ever designed, the Pioneering Spirit measures roughly 1,250 feet long but can be equipped with specialized beams that increase this length to 1,565 feet. Because the point of the vessel is to serve as a massive ocean-going construction platform, the engineers designed the pioneering spirit to be around 400 feet wide.
Designing and constructing the pioneering spirit was a truly massive undertaking that took several years to complete. All Seas initially intended to create a vessel that could lift entire drilling platforms. necessitating both a colossal size and incredible stability. As with most vessels of this size, all seas opted to embrace a modular construction system where each section of the hull was assembled and then put together in a dry dock. The builders were essentially tasked with creating two independent but identical super tankers with a connecting deck on top. Once the two hulls were complete, they were carefully maneuvered into position so that they could be connected. This allowed for additional construction on the central deck, which would contain the majority of the ship's equipment and systems. The Pioneering Spirit was officially launched in 2013. And since then, it has contributed to a wide variety of significant projects worldwide. One of the most impressive features of the vessel is its lifting capacity. Thanks to its extremely stable design and deep draft, it provides a very reliable platform for all manner of heavy lifting operations. One of the most significant projects involving the pioneering spirit was decommissioning the Brent Delta platform in the North Sea. During this operation, the vessel lifted the 24,000 ton topside of the platform in a single piece, setting a new record for offshore lifting. Aside from the ballast lifting system, the Pioneering Spirit is also equipped with huge conventional cranes, tilting lift beams, and other topside equipment. As the ship continues to rack up success after success, All Seas remains adamant that its capabilities almost stem entirely from its decision to go with a catamaran hull design. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.